What the hell? Stop saying that. What the hell? <laughs> Don't change your settings. That's just Taylor Swift having some fun as she reacts to the 10 minute version of All Too Well debuting at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, making it the longest song ever to top the chart. What the hell? What the hell? Stop! What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> that wasn't the only record that Taylor set. So with this and Red Taylor's version debuting at number one on the album chart, Taylor is the only artist in history to debut on both the single and album chart at the same time three times. Whew! The song is Taylor's eighth number one of her career. Fans have been asking for a longer version ever since they learned about it nine years ago. And today, after learning that the song had debuted at number one, Taylor tweeted, I'm so proud of this song and the memories I have with you guys because of it. You truly chose this one, and now you did this? I'm floored. A 10-minute song is at the top of the Hot 100. She went on to thank the team who helped her record the extended version. She also did a feral screech. I will not be demonstrating said screech. <laughs> so what do you think of the 10-minute version of Ultimate going to number one? It was clear Taylor was going for it when she posted seven variations of the recording on YouTube in the past week. Look, it's a great piece of songwriting. I mean, there are songs that make it to number one that literally have like a, you know, a two-line hook repeated 20 times. Taylor made this 10-minute masterpiece of songwriting. It's pretty incredible. So I say bravo. What do you think?